Hello everyone and welcome to a really exciting Star Wars Old Republic video and in this video I'm going to be going through what I got out of opening 65 Oppressor Hyper Crates. Uh, I talked about this in an earlier video where I showed myself buying them, I spoke a little bit about why I was buying them and the main point was to do an experimental video like this one where I open up a ton of these packs to do some real hardcore analysis of drop rates. I don't think a pack opening like this has ever really been done before so I'm kind of really excited to have this on my channel and to um, you know, provide something to the community that hasn't really been provided yet, which is just one of these mass pack openings and kind of a compilation of data uh, regarding what actually comes out, what is the you know, prevalence of gold items, platinum items, and even I even recorded for the bronze and silver stuff, just for the hell of it. So just to put it in perspective, that's 65 hyper crates, which is six, 1,690 uh, cartel packs. So a really, really large sample size and I was kind of hoping that, that the sample size would be enough to show some actual trends and to provide some relatively accurate data. So the next time anyone goes to open one of these packs, they'll, you know, if they watch this video, they'll have a good sense of like, okay, what is my chance of actually getting some of this stuff? And I'll be going through the analysis of it later, but before I get into that, just some really quick short announcements. Firstly, I do want to mention that I will be doing a similar video to this regarding Grand Chance Cubes. I'll open like, I think 800 of them is what I have in my inventory. Uh, most of those Grand Chance Cubes I got from actually opening the oppressor packs and so I'll open a lot of those and we'll um, I think that will be really interesting because we'll see like you know how many armor sets come out of that what's the you know drop rate of emotes and, and companion customizations and since a lot of people probably open grand chance cubes more than they open cartel packs just because the cubes are a lot more affordable I think it'll be a really useful video to, to kind of show what your chances of getting something good but that video will be coming out soon or later so expect that uh, stay tuned I'm going to try to get it out in about, in about maybe the next week or so um, the next quick announcement I did want to make is inside this video or just very soon like in the next few um, days I will also upload a raw footage video. Uh, the point of that one is just in this video I'm not actually opening the packs I'm just talking about what I got out of it so the point of that video is just to provide the proof and evidence that I did actually open these packs and so I'm not just making these numbers out of the air so that's just really the point of that there's no point in watching it unless you're maybe a little skeptical you want to actually see um, me open them and uh, what I got out of it so that raw footage footage video will be released uh, and I'll link it in the description and in the comment section and so that way anyone that's curious can also go and look at that. And then the um, the final thing I want to quickly discuss is I did put all of my findings into an actual chart. So in this video I'll talk about it, I'll just do some you know relatively light statistical analysis, nothing too uh, major or deep. However, I did want to actually provide the information. I think that's what's most important about this video, uh, more so than what I say about it. So in an Excel sheet that I've made public, I have provided a chart of uh, basically all the items I got. Uh, the way I opened the packs was a little bit different. Instead of just opening all 65 hyper crates at once, what I actually did was I opened them in sets of five hyper crates. So I'd open five hyper crates, I'd record what I got, uh, and so that's all in the Excel chart, and then I'd open another five hyper crates, record it again what I got. And the reason why I did it that way than just opening them all at once is because um, it's going to be easier to examine some trends and it's going to be easier to take out those outliers. Like for example, I might have opened five hyper crates, gotten really lucky, which I did as you, as you guys will see later, and gotten like a ton of gold or a ton of platinum items. And uh, But then in the next like 10 sets of five that I opened, uh, each of the hyper crates only gave me a few gold items, much, much less than that first one. So that way, you know, you can kind of identify that one as an outlier. Like I just got really lucky. but. For, for the you know majority of cases you won't actually be getting that so that was kind of the point of opening them in sets of five hyper crates rather and then recording what i got out of each of them it took a lot of time but i'm really happy i did it that way it's going to be better to really look at the data and and see what's uh, coming out of them so the chart is there i'll link it once again in the description and in the comment section and that way you know anyone in the audience that might want to look at the data for themselves analyze it for themselves they can go ahead and do so and then the really final thing I want to quickly mention before we actually get into the numbers is uh, some of you guys might be wondering how exactly did I open so many of these packs because 65 hybrid crates, I did the calculations and if I opened it normally, it would take me over five hours to open them. But I was actually able to open all 65 in a matter of um, like 30 minutes. And the way I did that and the way that you might want to you know, take a look at it too if you don't really care about opening it and, and seeing all the fancy flashy stuff is if you just click open pack right from this menu as you show on the screen and then quick, uh, click escape really quickly and then click open pack escape, open pack escape. Uh, you don't. You, you can basically skip through all the animation of the pack opening, but the items still get transferred to your item stash. So basically it's the exact same as if you've opened it, you just kind of ignore all of the all of the flashy animations. 
And so that's a really quick way of opening them. That's how I was able to open 1,690 of these in a really, really short time. So I didn't waste too much time in the opening. A lot of the time came from recording after every set of five hyper crates, what was there and recording it in the chart and stuff. Okay, let's get into what you guys are actually waiting for, the actual number. So let's start with the overall haul. This is what I got after opening all 65 of them. I'll run through the entire list and so you guys can see, you know, how many platinum items I got and stuff. All right, so let's uh, quickly jump into my item stash. And uh, I'm looking at this after I've opened the Warbound Crusader packs uh, that I did for the pack opening. So unfortunately, th those might be mixed in there, but let's get started. So I've divided it by Cartel Rarity, and we'll start with the Platinums. I got five Scavenger Lugger Walls, four of the Senia Terrell Lightsabers, and five of the Lightsaber Pikes. I probably was expecting a little bit more um, that was on the lower side, but hey, I got, you know, the Plats, um, they're hard to get. 18 of the Damaged Imperial Shuttle Gold Decorations. Uh, 15 Dune Crawler Sykes, and then we'll ignore these, these are from the Warbound Crusader packs. Uh, 22 Frenzied Warrior Lower Body Armors. Then we've got 11 of the Frenzied Warrior Supplementary, and 13 of the Upper. So the Lower really dominated there, got a, a you know, huge amount of those. Um, <clears throat> so we've got 11 of the Kukri Subjugators, 19 of the Creature Companions, And then <clears throat> 17 of the Riot Control Weapon Tunings. Uh, the Sith Tomb Column Statue, 13 of those, and 15 of the Statue of the Righteous Jedi. Then we got 9 Unrelenting Terror Interceptors. Going on to the final Gold Armor Set, we got 15 of the Lower Body Armor for the Unrelenting Terror, 15 for the Supplementary, and 15 for the Upper. Then I got like just a shitload of these crystals, um, so many of them, so 40 of the Eviscerating, 49 of the Hawkeye, 54 of the uh, Indestructible, and 42 of the War Heroes. Um, going on to some of the more silver stuff now, we got the Aerotech Vengeance, 62 of those, uh, 49 of these Cherka Food Vendors, 38 Orange Corellia Banners, and then 34 Red Corellia Banners. Um, so we got 44 of the Grand Tech Blaster Pistols, 38 of the Blaster Rifles, and 46 of the Sniper Rifles. Um, oh yeah, what's this? 60 of the Holocron of Despair decorations. Um, yeah, I probably should have looked at these before opening the Warbound Crusader. I, I actually forgot to do this final kind of outcome video. So we had like 62 of those, 63 of these Savannah Kaibucks. Then we have the security soldier, so 46 of the lower, 60 of the supplementary, and 65 of the upper. Then we have 64 of the cast city signs, 41 of the taskmaster lower body armor, 50 of the taskma taskmaster supplementary body armor, and 48 of the upper body armor. So this is super dry, but I did want to kind of do this final run through, um, just because I know some people are probably curious. So 51 of the titles. 87 of the Banner Cast City, uh, 97 of the Corporate Showroom Rugs, and then 84 of the Crimson Raider Lower, 78 for the supplementary of these, and 93 for the upper of these. Um, 98 Grand Varactyls, so these pets dropped a ton, uh, 74 Imperial Logo Rugs, 87 of the uh, Imperial Starfighter Display Decorations, and then uh, this Imperial Logo Rug actually super nice, so... Pretty good for a bronze decoration. Um, actually sells for quite a lot on the on the GTN. So 74 of those is no joke. All right. Ah, the bronze mount. 73 of these bronze mounts. And then Midnight Racer, I got 104 of the lower, <clears throat> 86 of the supplementary, and 82 of the upper. I think we're nearing the end here. Uh, we have 76 of the Republic Starfighter displays. 84 of the Sith Supply Locker, and then finally, 91 of the Woodland Vorn Tiger Pet. So that's kind of a run-through of literally every single uh, item that I that I got out of it and how many of those that I got. Um, and then in case you were wondering, I did end up getting a total of 768 Grand Chance Cubes, which is a one Grand Chance Cube every two cartel packs. So very common, and that is the normal that you'll see. You'll see around 10 to 12 or 10 to 13 Grand Chance Cubes every hypercrate you open.
All right, so now that we got that out of the way, with, let's look at some actual numbers. So going with firstly the gold items, I got 191 gold items in total. That is a very strong average of three gold items per crate. And I've opened a ton of these hyper crates and uh, that is the average that normally you'll see. I have of course had really lucky, uh, really lucky hyper crates so I've actually opened like a pack of 26 and gotten up to six to seven gold items. I've also gotten really unlucky and opened hyper crates and gotten zero gold items. I do have that footage. So it's possible uh, to get really lucky and unlucky but in general, usually your number will be around three to four gold items per crate, which is around one gold item every nine packs you open. Um, among the, uh, you know, going into the gold items specifically, if we look at the mounts, there was a pretty even split. I mean, we got 11 of the Kukri, uh, nine of the Interceptors, and 15 of the Sykes. So, we, you know, we didn't really see a clear dominance of one gold uh, mount. Uh, 35 out of the 191 gold items were mounts, which is an average of one gold mount every 48 packs. Uh, pretty significant. Another way to look at it is basically every fifth gold item you get is like a mount. Um, of course, that number doesn't hold up practically because when you're opening packs, you can get lucky and unlucky. It all depends on RNG, but that was the average I got out of this one. Um, so if you look at the chart, like uh, pull it up on the XL or whatever, if you want to look at it for yourself. Uh, you know, there were times when I opened up a, a set of five hyper crates and didn't get a single gold mount. Like, no joke, that's five hyper crates. That's up to 130 something cartel packs and didn't get a single gold mount out of them. And then there were uh, other times where I only got one gold mount and a couple times I got like five mounts. So it really varies, but if you look at the chart, there were a lot of times where I opened them and only got like one gold mount. So they are very, they are very rare, and that's pretty significant when you consider like some of the cartel packs. Like look at the Vigilant Defender pack, for example. A lot of people might open the pack and um, you know think, oh, wow, I, I really want to get the, the the Protector's Command Throne, or someone opens the recent Warbound Crusader pack and thinks, I really want to get that tank mount. But think about it, man. Like you can open up 48 of these packs and then you'll probably get one mount. That's what the average is showing here. So you have to be really careful when opening them. That's how Bioware gets you, you know. That's how they advertise their cartel packs. They'll show a few really good mounts. They center their whole uh, hyper crate around a few good uh, items and then say, you know, your chance of getting these items. But in reality, you have to open a ton of packs to get them. As shown in this video, you have to open up like 48 packs on average to get uh, even one mount. And even then, you might not get the mount you want. There's usually three gold mounts in a pack. So the odds are very, uh, very much not in your favor. Looking at the Creature Companion, I got 19 of them. So that is an average of one Creature Companion every 89 packs. So once again, if you look at the chart, most of the time I got one Creature Companion out of each set of five Hyper Crates. So actually, it's more like a one comp every 130 packs. Um, a few times I got lucky, I got two, and once I got really lucky and pulled up four. So those numbers actually kind of skewed up the average. In reality, I would say the number is closer to one Creature Companion every 130 packs. Uh, looking at gold decorations, uh, I got 46 in total, so that's one gold decoration every 37 packs. Armor sets were obviously the most common because they are the most uh, numerous gold item. Uh, I got one gold armor box every 18 packs. Uh, that's one of the reasons I wanted to open the oppressor crates for this experiment because it's got the unrelenting terror, which is probably one of the most popular armor sets to be released recently. Uh, we have seen some really sucky gold armor sets being released in the past and uh, the Unrelenting Terror was a pretty good refreshing um, change from that. It was actually a really good one, sells for a ton on the GTN. And since, as this video shows, armor sets are very common drops out of these, uh, you're going to want to you know, target uh, cartel packs that have some really good armor sets. Looking at the weapon tuning, I got 17 of them. So that's one tuning every 100 packs. In reality, once again, look at the chart and it's more like one every 130 packs. That was kind of the standard average. I just got lucky a few times that uh, kind of skewed up the overall number. It's one every 130 packs. All right, going on into the platinum items. A total of 14 platinum items. So that's one platinum item every 120 packs. But once again, look at the chart. A number of times I got zero, like a lot of times I got zero platinum items when I opened up a set of five hyper crates. Uh, most of the time I got one and I just got lucky once and I actually got five. Like I got five platinum items in five hyper crates. So I was averaging one plat every hyper crate. Not sure why or how that happened, but um, it did. And then the rest of the times, usually I was getting zero or one platinum item for, uh, for five hyper crates. 
the video is already kind of long enough now i don't want to keep droning on uh, the chart itself has more information regarding the bronze and silver item drop rates i don't really, really want to talk about them individually if i did the video is probably going to go up to like 40 45 minutes long so i'll leave them there uh, if you want if you're curious you can go and check out the chart yourself i have split up these silver and bronze armor sets into the upper uh, lower and supplementary so um, it kind of gives you more information regarding what's the drop rate of each type of armor box rather than just the armor set in general um, and then it's going to be, I think it's pretty cool if you look at the chart, you can examine some trends and stuff because there's some very interesting stuff uh, that, that, that happened. For example, you know, there's so many silver items, but it's not always an even split. I mean, sometimes I opened up a set of five hyper crates and didn't get a single uh, type of silver item. Like once I opened up five hyper crates, I didn't get a single security soldier helmet. Now that's pretty insane when you think about it. This is five hyper crates and I didn't even get every single item from the pack. Um, there were some silver items that still eluded me. Sometimes I would open up a uh, set of five hyper crates and not get one type of decoration, which is really insane to look at it, but that's RNG for you. Um, yeah, and sometimes I would open up a set of five hyper crates, only get like one type of mount, like I got one Kaibak or something. And in reality, really, uh, they, should, they, they ought to do something that makes it more diversified what items you get. Like rather than getting the same item repeating over and over again, something along the lines of if you got one item, then your chance of getting that item again is kind of lowered or something along those lines so you can actually get some good diversification. Because uh, a lot of people do open like one hyper crate, but they're expecting to get a lot of different types of items so they can collect them and use them or whatever. And it's pretty unfortunate when you're opening up tons of these things and getting the same thing over and over again. And then finally, we'll look at decorations because those are pretty important. Um, in total, I got 297 silver decorations. So that's one silver decoration every six packs. And then I almost doubled that for bronze. So I got 505 bronze uh, decorations in total, which means one bronze decoration every three packs. Uh, this is actually really good news because decorations often sell for a ton, like an absolute ton. They are probably what's going to make me a ton of credits. If I ever do actually get to selling all of this stuff, uh, mostly I'll just probably give it away because I'm way too lazy to go and hit the GTN to sell this. But um, if, if I did want to make my credits back, the decorations would probably be the thing that actually makes my credits back. I spent a total of 1.6 billion credits on these hyper crates. I didn't buy them off the cartel market. If you didn't watch that old video where I talked about it, uh, like a week ago, I uploaded a video showing myself buying them. Uh, yeah, I don't think I bought 65 of these. I do not have that kind of money to waste. Um, so that kind of concludes the video. I do hope you guys enjoyed and found it informative. The main point of this was to just kind of provide the data. I would have been content with kind of just giving you guys a chart, but um, I did want to obviously make a video also just talking about it in general, going through what I thought about it. And really the point of doing something like this was to put things in perspective and give you the reality of the situation. Because as I talked about earlier, like the way Bioware markets their packs is they'll often put in a lot of junk and crap and then they'll market it around a certain item, right? So they'll say, oh, here's a chance of getting this really cool and rare platinum item. And sometimes they make some of the really good uh, gold mounts in there and they say, you know, here's a chance of getting it. And in reality, a lot of people that kind of open those packs, it's, it's gambling, right? Some people will go and spend their credit. Some people will go and spend their hard-earned money and they'll think, oh, you know, here's my chance of getting this thing. And um, they'll open it and often be really disappointed when they don't get what they want. And so I'm really hoping that a video like this is going to put things in perspective and really encourage you to be a lot more, you know, aware when you open these things. Like if you really want a certain gold mount from a pack, know that, you know, after having opened 65 of these hyper crates, your chance of getting like a mount is once, once every 48 packs. And then as I mentioned earlier, you know, usually there's three gold mounts, sometimes four gold mounts in, in a cartel pack. And so the chance of getting the one you want is even less. So the odds are not in your favor whatsoever. Uh, as with gambling in general, the odds always favor the house and um, just know that when opening these things. Anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section and um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.